take a look around. So come on, let's go. Remedy FM, positive radio. How exactly did you get involved though? Oh, how did I get a, oh yeah, that was the question, wasn't it? Um, I was a youth pastor at your church, uh, the church Fellowship that you own, the Megan Ford Fellowship Missionary Church. And uh, I was doing a program over there called Remedy that was bringing in bands and doing all kinds of fun things on Friday nights. At the same time, uh, Shar Binkley at Taylor University uh, Broadcasting with the WBCR Radio was looking for a brand new way to reach teenagers with radio. And uh, the two of us kind of collaborated and uh, dreamt a dream. And uh, this is it, Remedy FM, an internet radio station that not only reaches Fort Wayne teens, but all across the world. So, what is your mission? It's pretty basic. Uh, we're, our mission is to provide a positive message uh, to teenagers that their life is worth living and that the Bible truly is the cure. If they would read it and they would try to understand it, that it really could make a huge difference in their life and that Jesus Christ is the remedy. And uh, we don't evangelize or push that down people's throat. We just say that this is what we, uh, we've we experienced here, that when you become uh, someone who has a relationship with Jesus Christ, your life's never the same. And so we uh, play bands that talk about that, uh, but we also play bands that are just positive in their lyrics. and. Uh, don't claim to have anything to do with uh, Christianity. Okay. Yeah. So, by positive music, what do you mean? What well, is positive music? The music of today in mainstream media typically is uh, sexualized, negative, violent, angry. And so what we, had, we have done is we've provided an alternative that really talks about positive issues. Uh, issues uh, of maybe relationships, but how to do uh, positive reconciliation, how to be to be living your life again to the maximum and on purpose rather than giving up, perhaps thinking about suicide or, 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 or getting your life involved in drugs or getting your life involved in crime. So all of our music across the board is music that we uh, feel very clearly is a positive theme. And again, it doesn't have to be about Jesus, it doesn't have to be about, about religion, but it has to be something that makes you feel better rather than make you feel worse. Which a lot of the music on the radio today really is demeaning to women, and uh, we just felt that that had to change among this generation. You're a woman. <laughs> yes. Do you not think that the music today talks negatively about young ladies? It does. Yeah, so you're a prime example of why we're doing this. All right, what made you decide to locate Remedy Downtown? Well, we believe that the downtown of Fort Wayne has got a great future, okay. and we wanted to be part of that. And uh, we met with the mayor, Mayor Graham Richards, and we talked about our, our choice to be downtown and, and just really feel and believe that Fort Wayne, if it starts downtown, if we start pouring our energy and our time and our creativity into the core of our city, we'll see the rest of the city reflect differently in the way that they think about the city. And so we want to be downtown because that's what action is, all right? And plus, I'm thinking of playing for the Wizards next year, and it's a lot closer for me to get to the games. Really? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm what they call a short fielder. Probably want to know about my hair. Oh, Who yeah. does it, how it's done, how long yeah. does it take me? Yeah, I do, actually. Yeah. It is a nuclear accident. I was, uh, I was touring Russia during the Chernobyl days, and didn't, I got a little too close to a reactor, and thus, the hair. Uh, I can't do anything with it. In fact, there are nights when it glows in the dark and my wife can't sleep. But uh, people have been told to love me for who I am, and I'm not sure who that is, but do it. Okay, you've got 10 seconds.